Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Prism Basketball six box, half case, pick your team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com and it's hobby edition by the way use the other printer so here we go we did the first half a little bit earlier that is uh, that video is uploaded already please check that out there's everyone right here. Who got Last Pod Mojo on this? Uh, Brandon did. Brandon got Last Pod Mojo with what team did he get? With the Raptors. There you go, Brandon. Thank you. And remember, we marked all of these four so you know that they were from the same case. We got Nick on the Nick cam above my head helping us out. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, I'm rage breaking. So. You're rage breaking? Yeah. What's, what's going on out there? I don't know. There's just a lot of things. I hate December. Why? You know, UPS doesn't deliver, you know. Oh, what, do they not send us stuff? Yeah. Come on. All right, because everybody's backed up. and. Right, yeah, it's like it. holiday season. It's like, well, Christmas is through this way. Too. You better yeah, get your got, ass figured out. We got some highly valuable stuff in there. You know, stop sending Christmas cards. <laughs> send us our stuff. I blame Amazon. You blame Amazon? It is, we, need, we need, like, we just need to hire a special courier to get stuff and send it, bring it right to us. Yeah. All right, so Mark N, who has the, got the Cavs and the team random, uh, has significant financial interest in the Brooklyn Nets to just win outright tonight. He's got a big, big parlay on them, so we're rooting for the, for the Nets and for Mark. What are the what are the Brooklyn Nets doing right now? They are just down by two. In a, oh, a lot of time left. They still have the second half of the game to go. A lot of time. Oh, Brandon's first Jaspi break in a long time. Thanks, Brandon. Welcome back. So no veteran commons will ship, but like vet silvers and all the different parallels, they will all ship. Obviously, all the RCs will ship. Cam Reddish will ship. Like that Emmanuel Moutier silver will ship. We're going to breeze by these uh, red waves. They're not numbered, but they will ship too. You'll get a lot of stuff, don't worry. Be a lot of stuff. DeAndre Hunter to 199 for the Hawks. What's in for five after this, And there's Cam Reddish for EA as well. In a new case. Ooh, and get, get into the action in Pick Your Team 5, Prism Basketball Hobby Edition, before Nick pops him into a team random. And we got Tyson Chandler, Rockets Edition. And that will go to King D and the Houston Lakers. Rockets. No, I think Lakers said we're gonna keep JaVel McGee. We're not gonna keep Tyson Chandler. I think Lance Stevenson went to China. Yeah. Alright, so there you go, King D. Nice one for the Rockets. Good start. And Trav, good luck on your first break. Ever. He's got the Kings in this one. Landry Shamit to two ninety nine. Etwan Moore to one ninety nine. Um, I have not, Mark. Some guy on Reddit did a whole thing about it. Yeah, apparently some guy on Reddit did a whole thing. So that's that's pretty interesting. He does like the those houses of ill repute. Who doesn't? That's, I mean, who doesn't? You're right. Especially if you're an NBA player. Bill Russell to two ninety nine. That must be cool. Must be nice. I know, right? Chris Middleton, Jimmy Butler. We'll just have to make that NBA money here. There's Courtney Lee out of 149. 
Scotty Pippen. Luck of the Lottery. Silver. Jean Morant. That's pretty nice. That goes to Ken and the Grizz. What did you do to the printer? I just went to the other computer. <laughs> just went to Jason's computer. And the second autograph is KZ Okpala for the Miami Heat. Sensational signatures going to Andrew Hennessy. Nice one, Andrew. Firework Zion. Firework Zion going to Jeremy Tillman and the Pelicans. Last little bit here. There's Hornets, Terry Rozier, RJ Barrett, fireworks. We'll save a couple save a couple of those. We're mainly looking for their rookie car rookie silver. This is really where the big dollar figures are at. So I guess anything with Zion Williamson's name on it will will do pretty well. Why doesn't yeah, Nick went corporate on us. He doesn't break anymore. I broke the Friday. He's got he's got bigger fish to fry, Brett. He's got to battle with UPS. He's got to make sure China. Yeah, battle with China. Make sure we're stocked with supplies. Make sure that we're buying stuff three months out, five months out. Make sure we have enough money to run the business. Make sure people aren't parking in our parking spots. All sorts of things. Arcade operator. Arcade, got to operate the arcade machines here, the stacker machines. Make sure all the promos are going right. Make sure Bossman doesn't move things five times a day. Might kill him. <laughs> I mean, it's just the store gets remodeled every day. Electrician today. Oh, we got the electrician today. Who just bailed on us before they finished the job. No, they were done for the day, I guess. Bowl Bowl to 2 99 Heat doesn't want to work here. And heat the doesn't, yeah. doesn't want to heat us. Landlord doesn't want to heat those us. Be variations, those. those are, that's why they're flipped around? Yeah. Are we, are, we, are we trusting Panini that they did that? I guess. Yeah. Okay. Kevin Porter Jr. That goes to Mark N., who picked up the Cavs in a team red. There you go, Mark. Connor McDavid guarding. He got, he, yeah, Nick's watching the Connor McDavid. In that Threads case? Balls in that Threads case. Yeah, th yeah, what was that Threads case sitting right on there? What is, who does he think he is? Buddy Hill, thanks, Nick. It's a 149. Kings. Luka Doncic hyper. That's pretty cool. There's James Harden. And as Mark was saying earlier, anytime he's in a city with uh, good houses of ill repute, he doesn't play as well. Cities with not so good houses of ill repute plays well. There's a Luka Doncic for the Mavs, Brian Lentz with that one. Those second year cards still have to carry a little value too. There's Jared Dudley for the Lakers. That's going to be for Chris McKee. Sensational signatures. Never heard back on from Josh about transcendent. Daniel saying, "What? What was the thing?" What, what, what was it? Remind me on the situation again. Rookie silvers are always nice, and. I'm saving these LeBron cards, too, because I think the, these LeBron cards are the first time that he's in his Lakers gear. I know, that, I know the Silvers will probably do really well on some of these, but these will carry some weight, too, Chris. Ooh, nice Zion Red Wave. There you go. Jeremy Tillman, Pelicans. There's some color for Zion.
Nice. Oh, did oh, I didn't say I don't send any of those emails, Dan. So I don't don't know what the situation is, but I don't know, shoot us an email again. Maybe we'll put you in touch with Josh or something like that. All right, next one. Yeah, and Brett, it is crazy about crazy how how Zion base how well that will do on a secondary market. All your base are belong to us. Markel Fultz to 75. Rex saying, what's the best music venue and concert that I've been to? Do they have to be the same? I don't know. I've been to a lot of... His best, best concert I've been to was probably... Hmm... It was Cam Johnson to 190. Probably, uh, probably U2 in Las Vegas, the October after 9-11. Was pretty emotional. That's when their All That You Can't Leave Behind album had come out. And that was, that's a, that's a pretty good, was a pretty good show. Pretty excellent show. Uh, Paul McCartney... Honda Center or a Staples Center, one of those. I think I saw him both places on the same tour. Was his first U.S. tour since tripping the live fantastic in the 90s. That was a good show. John Morant is a good show to 299 Red. Best venue? I mean, Coachella is a great venue. The Polo Grounds is a great place to see a show. I kind of like that area. Um, the Santa Barbara Bowl. I saw Radiohead in the Santa Barbara Bowl on their In Rainbows tour. Another Kevin Porter Jr. from Mark N. And the Santa Barbara Bowl is really nice. It's like the Hollywood Bowl, but smaller, more intimate. Great place. And LA has a lot of lot of great little venues tucked away. I like the the El Rey, is great. Fonda is great. So a lot of lot of old theater type venues, that are really nice. Big balconies and old like movie theater, like chandeliers and stuff like that that are still around there. Pretty good. Zion Williamson, Jeremy Tillman, Pelicans. The I'm trying, trying to think what other where are the, where else I've seen show Admiral Schofield to ninety nine West Matthew Silver Chandler Parsons Red Wave. There's Mike Scott to 149. And Nasir Little. Another John Morant luck of the lottery. Logan thinks Lonzo, or uh, Lonzo, L Logan thinks that uh, Zion's going to be a bust. Well, that would be bad for business, Logan. You take that back. <laughs> DeAndre Aiden to 299, Suns, Joe Harris. Four bands for Rex that on his bucket list, Radiohead's one of them. I don't know. You, they don't play a lot of the old... Oh, nice. Zion Silver, far out. They don't play too much of the old stuff, though, Rex. So Unless you like the new stuff. Another one, Jeremy Tillman with the Pels. Nice. Maybe we'll find his honor from this time. Pearl Jam I have not seen. Foo Fighters I have seen. 
uh, at the Great Western Forum, where this guy used to play. No, he didn't used to play there. Maybe, 80s? Did he last through there? Anyway, Hamadou Diallo, Great Western Forum, great show. Grant Williams Purple to 75. Cam Reddish Silver and Don Chaney for the Celtics out of 25. Nice mojo refractor there. Yeah, they put on a good show though, Radiohead, Rex. It's a good one. Foo Fire's excellent show too. Celtics, that'll go to Ken Goldberg and the Reddish Silver will go to EA and the Hawks. Brett saw Avenged Sevenfold in Long Beach eight years ago, the only time he was in California. I feel like I've seen Avenged Sevenfold, maybe some festival setting or something like that. see on the camera right here a few boxes to go here all right and we've got more in the store folks more prison basketball in the store so plenty of opportunities to get into the action there's Tyler Johnson to 199 299 Cam Reddish luck of the lottery Sam Banks saying uh, saying that uh, only band to check off the bucket list is Rage, and yes, they are. They might actually happen. They might actually be there for us to see. Hang on, folks. I'm gonna pause the video. I gotta go and get some more top loaders. Brb. Welcome back, folks. Got the top loaders. So, wait. Oh, yeah. Is Rage Against the Machine doing Coachella Weekend 1? I did not know that. I haven't been to Coachella in ages. But maybe this will be the year where I'll have to go and do that. See Rage Against the Machine. Although... I would like to see them in their own proper venue and not in a festival setting because I think Kevin Porter Jr. 75, I think their set is a little bit shorter. Zach Norville Jr. for the Lakers. That goes to Chris, Chris McKeague and the Lake Show. Logan wishes he's seen the Beastie Boys. Yeah, that that's a good sort of, I wish I saw, dot, dot, dot. There's Seth Curry to 199. Russell Westbrook kind of still looks... Can't get used to him in a uh, in a Rockets uniform. Got Trevor Ariza, Kings edition to ninety nine, and that will go to Travis. There you go, Travis. A little something. Edward, no, no current break schedule. No current breaks. Nothing sold out after this. Unless Bowman Draft is sold out? No. There's five left in the team round. We'll, we can do two Bowman Jumbos back-to-back -back if we move the last five teams in that team random. I'll drop the link in the chat. Um, 
That's not sold out. No, nothing else sold out. That's not sold out. That's not sold out. Oh, yeah, nothing else is sold out. I'm hoping baseball after this. Travis says, can't you see Ariza not in a Rockets jersey? I, I can't. I still can't get used to Ariza not in a Lakers jersey. There's DeAndre Hunter and Ray Allen. Supersonics Ray Allen. Look how young he looks there. That goes to the Thunder, of course. That's to Jeffrey Laboda, who got OKC in a team rant. There you go. Nice. DeAndre Hunter Silver going to EA and the Hawks. This was a, uh, if they didn't get Anthony Davis, I think the Lakers would have picked up DeAndre Hunter. Yeah. Mark Mark saying, "Hey, I like that guy. I, f I feel like I feel like Ray Allen has, is is well liked, even even amongst rivals." Yeah, Jesus Shuttlesworth, absolutely. That's a good movie too. He got game. Love that movie. Andre Roberson, red for the Thunder to two ninety nine. Michael Porter Jr. Silver Moutier. Shamit Silver Trey Young. All right, two boxes to go. Tell us a story, Mark. Mark says, I'll never forget the first time I met Ray Allen. you got to tell us a story now. It's Josh Hart, Marvin Bagley, Red Wave. Remember, those are not numbered. Andre Drummond, 299. Eric Pascal, Hyper. Can't forget Zion. Jeremy Tillman. Logan's asking, best three-point shooter ever. I think Corver's, Kyle Corver's the best. Reggie Miller was pretty good at shooting threes. Yeah, Steph Curry's pretty good, too. I've heard of Steph Curry. He's a pretty good three-point shooter. Yeah, Sam Banks going with Reggie Miller. Justin James to 149. <laughs> Tonin saying Shaq was pretty good at three pointers too, when he wanted to be. He just never work at it. Yeah, Ray Allen's pretty good too. Pal Gasol. This this guy's pretty good at threes. Larry Bird. Isaiah Roby. That's true. No. Our heroes are not perfect. Isaiah Roby Silver. No break schedule, Brett. Nothing sold out after this. So I get, I'm just, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to maybe eat some candy. Steve Nash to 199. Nance Jr. and Hachimura. Nice, Evan. Is that the second one in this case? This is the second half of the case. I think we saw one in the first. Nice, Rui Hachimura for Evan Levine and the Wizard. You're a wizard, Evan.
There's Marcus Saul, two ninety nine. Goga. Luke Kennard, Ja Morant Fireworks, PJ Washington. Nice, I like that Mojo Steve Francis. Remember Stevie Francis? That's the 25. Rockets, King D. Ah, Mark's uh, Ray Allen. Sorry, I, I see Ray Allen for the first time I met him. He walked, walked in, introduced himself to me, but said, Hi, Mark, without me telling him his name. So it was him looking at the name tag. All right, see, that's the quality of Ray Allen. Yeah, exactly. I like that story. That's a good story. No, not everyone does that. All right, last box in Pick Your Team 4. Ladies and gentlemen, hobby for second half of that hobby case we opened a little bit earlier today. We've got more in the store, jazpiececasebreaks.com, and we can do we can do more tonight if you want to. Bruce Brown for the Pistons, down to 149. Got De'Aaron Fox, Michael Porter Jr., DeMar DeRozan. Almost passed by that Zion. T Mac to two ninety nine. I like watching T Mac on the jump and Perkins too. Sam Perkins on the jump is pretty good. Got a randomizer. Luck of the lottery. There's there's the uh, the draft class right there. So this will be randomized to one person in the break. A little consolation prize. Set that aside over here. Oh, let's sleeve up that Zion. I guess one of these could, I guess some of these could be gradable. Jeremy Tillman. Maybe one could come back 9 5 or a 10. That'd be pretty good. It's Quinn Cook Silver and Goga Vitadze for the Pacers. Pacers fans will tell you he's got a pretty high ceiling. Daniel. Festivan with the Indiana Pacers. Nice. There you go. We got some gold. That card is gold. Five out of ten. Landry Shamit. Joe, who's the best point guard ever in my opinion? Well, you said Stockton because you're a Jazz fan. I'll say Magic Johnson because... I'm a Lakers fan. Another Cam Reddish silver for EA. Is Gorgie Dieng to 75. How long until Zion goes to one of the other big markets? New York, Miami, LA. That's all dependent on what the Pelicans do. There's Cam Reddish for EA. If the Pelicans pay Zion, surround him with a great team, and make him unable to leave, then they, they can have Zion forever. It's a matter of how they want to construct their construct their roster. Trey Young Silver and Mie Oni. Speaking of the Jazz, Utah Jazz sensational signatures. That'll be for Daniel Festervin. Getting getting Daniel on the board. A little late here, but better late than never. Andre Roberson to 199 for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Almost done here. Josh Richardson, Sixers, P.J. Tucker, R.J. Barrett. We'll save one of those. 
LeBron James to 299 for the Lakers. Dylan Windler. And Keldon Johnson at the end. There you have it. Like I said, like I was saying before, that LeBron James, he's finally on cards with his uh, Lakers uniform. So these have carried a little extra weight than usual. Chris McKeague. And of course, RJ Barrett for the Knicks. That's going to go to Sen Yin. All right, let's randomize this uh, parallel luck of the lottery card right here. That's pretty cool. A lot of good-looking suits there. Yeah, what kind of wild draft day suit would I get if I was drafted to the NBA? I'd have to think of something really cool. All right, let's go back to the list right here. Everybody has a shot at it. So let's get everyone's names from EA down to Evan and everybody in between. Let's get all the names in here. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a four, eight, the hard way name on top gets that extra card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Good luck. After eight times, it's Travis Woodman. There you go, Travis. I don't think I called your name out all break. I'm sure, you're gonna think, I'm sure you'll get some Nets cards here and there, but here is a little consolation prize for you. Appreciate you getting in. Thanks for trying. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. we got more Prism in the store. And I think if you visit us on National Hobby Shop Day tomorrow, we've got, we got some basketball in the shop as well that you can take advantage of. So whether you're watching virtually, you can join us. And if you're in the area, you can join us in Hermosa Beach, 1402 Pacific Coast Highway, Hermosa Beach, California. We'll see you there. Bye-bye.